Ante Ancic from Croatia Zagreb is next to me. What do you expect from the next season? What uh, chances will Zagreb have? Uh, first of all, the name of our team is Croatia Osiguranje Zagreb, which means the insurance company. So, as every year, we have a uh, huge expectation. We change a little bit the team. You know, some of our players left the team and enjoy the, our competitors from Hamburg. But we replace them with a lot of good players and we are expecting that we are going to, to play uh, very good this year. And our goal is, as every team in Europe, to reach the, the final four in Cologne. That will be something really nice. What do you expect from this event? Uh, I have to say that uh, I was the one who was supporting this idea from the very beginning. So I'm expecting that this is going to be a huge step forward for a handball as a sport. And I'm uh, expecting uh, a wonderful uh, event and I hope that we will enjoy it during these days in Cologne. Thank you very much. Mr. Manfred Wolf is standing next to me, the mayor of Cologne. Uh, your city, Cologne, is known as a very open and friendly city towards tourists. What can the fans who come here for the Final Four expect? We uh, can expect an enthusiastic and a very heartful welcome in Cologne. And uh, when we can uh, come together, it's every, uh, uh, a good day for everyone. A good day, you said there will be events, uh, and we have to say, those who are here, we know that it's a beautiful city, so what do you uh, recommend for the fans to see and to try? I'm proud of this town, you know, but uh, the Kefil, it's the best uh, uh, visit card to, to, uh, to the other people. So Stefan Löfgren is standing next to me. You have a lot of experience from Champions League finals. This will be a final four. What will be the major difference? The major difference is uh, we are going from two final games in, uh, into an event for the whole weekend. And it's only, not only for the players, for the fans as well and for the sponsors and for the whole Hamburg family. I think it's a great thing. It's a great thing and also even more dramatic because everything will depend on one game. Yes, of course, and you will see that uh, the spectators will uh, have this nice feeling around the whole weekend because uh, two uh, semi-finals and then you have two finals, but all the spectators are going to stay there and it's uh, coming on of one game and I think that's uh, really the peak of the season. How do you remember your own games when you played in Langsas Arena? I played uh, a lot of games there and the atmosphere is fantastic. It's a great arena and uh, it's, I think, the, the best arena to do this the first time. It's a great uh, city for sport and I think uh, all the players and all the spectators will uh, see that. And finally, you committed yourself to promoting this event. What will be your role in this? I think my role will be uh, talking to the media, with the players, with the clubs around Europe to promote this event. And uh, as you say, it's an event. It's not only a final game and uh, that's the big thing. EHF president Mr. Tolian is standing next to me just before the beginning of a new Champions League season. What are your expectations? Well, I think if you look back on the development of the Champions League, it has been a fantastic story. And I think we are going into a brilliant season. And we also have, will have this new Final Four, which is a climax for, for the, the top season, for the top teams, which is something different. Uh, not so many sports has, has this, but uh, bringing the four best teams together for a weekend, for semifinals, finals, that's, that's a good, good idea. What exactly will be the difference, the biggest difference between the competition format we had, we had before and now this one? Well, you know, the... the before we had these two finals, home and away. Now we go to a, a, one of the big arenas and, uh, and bring all the teams together there, which will, I think everyone in, in the long run will, will benefit on because attention from the media, from the audience will be great and also very good publicity for, for handball. The venue, uh, the Langsess Arena in Cologne, Germany, is a handball sanctuary. What's your opinion about that? Well, it's, it's a fantastic arena, and uh, we love to have arenas like that. We should, we should uh, wait for more, uh, because it's also important for the sport that you have excess uh, of a crowd like that. And, for, of course, for the, for the teams, they are, it's possible to earn more money, and, and, and so it's, it's a part of a successful uh, uh, development.
Ciudad Real manager Lopez Miguel is next to me. Last year we won the Champions League season. What do you expect from the new one? Oh, okay. Uh, we expect the, to win in uh, time the Champions League, but uh, we know it's very difficult for all teams because the the new project of the Champions League uh, w with the Final Four is more difficult for all teams. Uh, but uh, I expect uh, to play in the first Final Four because it's, it's for the humble, it's a project and very important. Uh, I think uh, this sport uh, need uh, one final four uh, for the media project, for the television, for the spectacle. And the uh, Ciudad Real uh, win three times the Champions League, uh, like uh, to play in Köln in the final four in May. Uli Derat, THV Kiel manager, is next to me. Uh, you are a new manager, but the expectations from Kiel are always the same. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope so. Uh, it's the same, and uh, we hope uh, to reach this Final Four. That's right, and what uh, do you expect from this Final Four as an event? Uh, I think it's uh, a lot of people uh, uh, are for handball, and it's a, a great uh, chance in, in media for the whole world to, to show uh, what happens in handball. So are you confident to be part of this Final Four? Uh, we hope. Xavi O'Callaghan from Barcelona. As we could read from the reports, Barcelona will have a, have a very strong team next season. How do you see that? Well, uh, we have a lot of expectation in, in this team, but uh, the things are how, how it ends, not how it starts. We start very well, but uh, we will try to, to keep this pacement all the season. But you never know. Uh, I hope to be, to be powerful and strong, but uh, we have to see what is going to happen. And I guess you also hope to, be, to come back to Cologne for the Final Four. Well, for us it's like a dream. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be the first time ever with the Final Four, and for us it will be very important to be there. We will fight to, to get it, and we will see what happens. Many thanks. David Slezak from Reinecke Leuven. What do you expect from the new team of uh, Leuven for next season? Well, for us it's a very, very interesting season because uh, after, after the last season we changed the coach, we changed uh, some players, and now we are in a preparation phase, and uh, we're looking forward to this to this season as well as to the, to the Champions League season and to the national championships. And, um, yeah, we... We're very, very, very excited about that, but uh, at this time we don't uh, know exactly where we stand. Last year you stood in the semi-final, uh, so it means for me that the objective cannot be less than the final four. Yes, you're right. <laughs> that's that's absolutely right. But um, we 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 are very careful with this because um, the season is very long. We have the the three competitions: the national cup, the championships, and and the Champions League. So. Um, some things can happen, uh, but uh, now we are, we're looking forward to the group phase. Um, the first aim has to be uh, one of the first four teams to come to the, to the round of the last 16, and then we look from step to step. Alexey Aravin, Chehovsky Medvedi, what do you expect from your team in the next Champions League season? Well, I think that uh, with this new system we have much more chances uh, to get to Final Four, uh, because we have... Uh, many teams in the group right now and we have uh, many chances uh, really to go on further steps of the competition. Uh, especially as we have uh, some renovations of players in our uh, club, we, it also increases our chances uh, to go in the further steps of competition. The objective seems to be clear, the final four. Sorry? The objective is clear, final four, is it the case? Yes, uh, final four is a really good chance for us because right now in the final gets not two teams but four teams and I think it's also a good, uh, good thing for the handball at all and for the Champions League as a handball product uh, and it will be a really nice event, I hope. Raul Torres, Valladolid, you won the EHF Cup last season. Uh, what's the next objective of the team? 
Uh, we want to make the same season last, that last year. Uh, we prepare the team uh, this summer for a very hard competition this year. The Champions League is um, a great event for everybody, and we we make uh, many many hopes in this year. Uh, we we want to make the better. Uh, for the supporters, the weather for the sponsors, for everybody, and uh, we want to to go to <laughs> to Cologne this year. <laughs> That's right, because a few years ago, Valladolid actually reached the semi-final, which would mean a uh, final place in the final four. Uh, what what are your expectations from this event in Cologne? I think it's a very good idea for for handball. I think uh, it's very good for supporters. Uh, Cologne is a very big city uh, with very good uh, hotels, very good infrastructure for everybody. And uh, I think it's a very good idea for handball to promotion the uh, the handball. Uh, it's a green, grand event. Even if we go to the for final, uh, the or the final four or or not, I think it's very good for handball.